Um, so I don't understand how this hasn't already been done, but, um, you know, Q LED gas greens. Or I assume even the CCD or, you know, old screens that they, they came up with because I just said, why not turn that into a screen? After all, Panasonic turns their LEDs into a fucking cameras, which are ass, by the way. It's just lead light. It's just LEDs. Um, why not just make the Screen X experience just actual side panels that are actually just seamless screens that stick out from the walls a little bit on arms that are just, you know, because they're all the way on the walls. You know, it'll look seamless with everything else. Then you can maintenance it easy and it all works perfectly. Seems logical to me. Because you see, the issue was that somehow certain people at theaters want to step down screens and they're illegally modifying them. And I know they are because it's cutting down the middle of the exact center of the frame, having the definition down to 12 with some sort of illicit program modification when we were trying to watch the side projectors and screen X. So this uh, gas screen is better too because if you film at uh, 48 like Chang Shi did with four separate cameras like I advised for all cell phones, like I don't know why they're doing three in triangle formations. You can use all the different depths of fields of all those cell phone lenses, same as you could with a movie theater, and film so stable that you might be able to actually finally use, which is why it's so incredible, a cell phone for certain scenes in a movie, maybe. Well, if you use cell phones for the, th for the side video. That's what I was saying. Maybe for certain lower budget things and stuff for, you know, new cell phones. Yeah. My point here is to get this across to people so that they understand that especially for digital and extra stuff that be on the sides, that can be any frame rate technically and can be designed for the gaseous screen space so that people can watch it smoothly regardless of what their eyes do. Because there's no real camera movements. Everything's pre-planned, and so they're the eyes of people can't not see it. You know, like how you can play video games even if you have low-power eyeballs at 60 frames a second. It's just determined on how much you want to move the camera and how fast you want to move it. Because everything within the environment's moving at whatever speed it is.